Good news. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about Pfizer. So if you have been listening to the news today, you probably have heard it that Pfizer actually put out a kind of a report that the phase three um, vaccine for COVID-19 turned out really, really good. And so it did have some implications in the market. So if you're an investor, this is something that would impact you a lot. So we're going to take a look and read the news and see what's going on and then talk about some of the stocks that uh, were impacted by this news. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so they, again the news came out today Pfizer put out this news that they are really I mean up to about 90% success rate with their phase 3 trial for COVID uh, vaccine this is excellent news as a matter of fact the entire globe needs something like this to happen because uh, people are struggling all across here in the United States businesses small businesses are going under and people are I mean people are not getting better people the infection rate is even getting higher so when you hear something like this, it really kind of gives you uh, an opportunity to pause and just and just appreciate the fact that we live in a in a world where companies can go to work and come out with a vaccine this fast. I mean, are they motivated by making money? Of course, but are they going to save lives in the process? Definitely. So it's a win-win for everybody. So I'm celebrating the news. I really love it. But from an investment standpoint, there is something that you have to be aware of. So during this COVID period, we've seen other companies go from, you know, just basically being average to becoming uh, really strong companies. They've made millions and billions of dollars during COVID, which means that this pandemic um, has been really bad for some people. But on, on the other hand, it's been excellent for some people. So, I mean, you have what they call COVID companies that have really thrived during this period. And if you invested in any of those companies, we've seen something like Zoom go from like $100 to over $500, which is crazy, right? You look at companies like Peloton, they've gone insane because of the, the fact that people had to stay at home, work from home, work out at home, and all those different ways of communicating, which Zoom was one of the biggest one from um, an enterprise standpoint, as well as from an individual standpoint, people were communicating over Zoom and just push the price of that stock um, to a record high. So if you are holding uh, what I call the COVID stocks, what is the implication if we get a vaccine? Do you think that those stocks are going to continue um, going up or they're going to be a pullback? I can just save you the headache. Just today morning, if you looked at the market, you would notice that when, as soon as this news hit, we had companies like Zoom and Peloton that started pulling back. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get the news here so we can actually um, we can actually read through it. So these companies started pulling back and if you see, and Zoom went down almost to about $400 from their high of uh, over 500 uh, just this early this morning. So that kind of gives you an idea. The stocks would, you would have this panic reaction in the market. So you have uh, Peloton, same thing, pulled down to under $100 from I think about 124 or 125 early this morning. And then so as soon as that news came out, Peloton just started pulling back all the way to about $94 before squeezing back up again so if you have these stocks in your portfolio uh, it, I think it's about time that you start looking at your exit strategy or just a way for you to save some of that money or protect some of that money uh, again the good news is that we're getting a vaccine but uh, the sad news is that if you have investments in these companies that are called COVID companies they're going to take a beating they're going to uh, suffer during this period and are they going to go back to record high if we have a vaccine that uh, is readily available and can be distributed to everybody I don't know, but you have the power to be able to control and tell exactly how much you want to keep in, in that. So I just want to put that out there. So again, we're going to look at the news here. We're talking about um, Pfizer. This is the announcement that their, their vaccine candidate achieved uh, success in first interim analysis from phase three study. Um, and just uh, to, to 
make a point here that um, they actually had about 43,500 people participate as well as you know uh, 34 38,900 whom receive a second dose of the vaccine candidate so that I mean that's quite a bit of people that's you know and they even make sure that they're talking about they cover a wide range of uh, more all racially and ethical uh, diverse background in their study so um, basically what they're trying to say there is that this vaccine is going to be available for every racial group or ethic, uh, ethical background that you can see out there. So that, that's good news. So um, just again, this is this is from uh, CNN. Pfizer says early analysis shows its COVID-19 vaccine is more than 90% effective. That is really 90% is wow. For the first for phase three trial, 90% is awesome so i mean i'm looking forward to this i'm really excited that we're finally having something so how did this news impact uh let's say pfizer stock right so pfizer stock is currently up a little bit over 10 percent today that's about 3.8 um dollars i i personally thought that this was going to push this stock completely um up maybe about 20 30 percent um a little bit over 10 percent it's kind of a disappointment because i'm thinking like hey you have a vaccine for COVID and your stock only went up about 10 percent I, I i don't quite get it but then you look at all the other stocks like i said like the COVID stocks like peloton peloton that was actually down today was uh, uh, close to about 20 percent which you, you look at it one person has the vaccine and their stock went up four percent uh, ten percent and the other person was a COVID stock and then the stock went down close to about 20%. Like it just doesn't add up. But at the end of the day, guys, you have to be smart with the way you secure profit for some of these stocks. Again, we knew this was gonna happen, right? So it's not it's not like, hey, we sat there just thinking this, we're just gonna keep riding this COVID stocks forever. So the good news is we knew it. Now, do you have your exit strategy or some way for you to secure some of those excellent profit that we've had with um, all these COVID stocks? So again, here, this is a um, tip rank. This is a company that I use for kind of giving recommendations for stocks right now. Uh, for Pfizer, tip rank is actually recommending maybe like a, a price target of about $53. They're currently, like we just looked at, they're currently right now at $40. So price target about $53, um, low of 38 and average about 42. So I mean, they're not too far from like today is about, like I said, 40. So um, again, this is the recommendation from um, a bunch of analysts that uh, work on Wall Street. So uh, question of the day, do you think this would be a good time to jump into Pfizer if they have their vaccine? I think if they come out and say the vaccine is now ready to be distributed, Pfizer is going to be sitting awesome. They're going to be doing excellent. So um, I'm going to pick up a few shares of uh, Pfizer. I'm not going to put all my, my hopes in Pfizer, but I'm going to pick up a few shares of Pfizer just in case uh, this this thing turned around and they say FDA has approved their vaccine and it's good for distribution so I can make some profit uh, doing that. But at the same time, I'm going to put a very uh, um, hard stop loss in case things want to turn around because I don't want to have to sit there and wait. So that's my personal take. I want to hear what you think. Um, do you think Pfizer is a buy? And also, do you own uh, what I call the COVID stack? So Zoom, Peloton, and all those good stacks that really did well during during the, the pandemic. If you own them, what's your strategy? Do you plan on selling, take some profit, or what's your game plan? Let me know in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on, on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, uh, Webo is currently doing a promotion where, because that's a platform I use, so they do a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get three free stocks, not one, not two, three i put the links in the description below um when you get signed up you get a free stock i got a free stock that's what helps me keep the channel going so i appreciate those of you that have actually used my link in, in signing up and as always guys be smart and stay motivated